to kick off today's reactions, we're going to be reacting to an incorrect summary of Metal Gear Rising. This one was recommended to us by Grasley. May. Grasley has a reputation for recommending some pretty fucking cursed videos. There has been the Doom videos. There has been other videos. They've been pretty freaking scary. But if I'm going to say one thing, they have never disappointed me. They have been fucking on point. They have been perfect. They have been very entertaining. And I am very excited to watch them. So today, guys, we're going to be reacting to this video right here. So let's do it. Metal Gear Rising oh Revengeance is not a God, word in the dictionary. It's trip. also let's one of go. my favorite <laughs> games, besides Genshin Impact. Created as a spin off to the critically Holy acclaimed shit. Metal Queer Solid 4 Guns of the Pirates, we are cast as. Oh my god, I can just. That's Raiden, whose resume involves fighting the Illuminati and a bisexual oh. vampire, trading off slow stealth gameplay and conference calls of an unspecified duration for pulse pounding action gameplay, unique cutting mechanics, and the stupidest plot of any game since uh, the last one. You know, the one where Headache Kajingles puts his protagonist in a microwave, now caught in a worldwide conspiracy headed by an evil and destructive empire called the United States. It's up to us to stop Senator Dwayne The Rock Johnson from becoming black, fight cyborg dinosaurs controlled by orphans, and fight a a series of extremely online YouTube personas for such as Jack Bezos, the Nintendo Virtual Boy, and Markiplier. I'm gonna come find you. Set to the tune of a hardcore rock soundtrack made by the world famous Toontown Online composer for the express purpose of killing anyone above 40. And to complete our journey, we will have to resort to unrestricted brutality, cutting and slicing our enemies like a human sized slap chop in between philosophy about the nature of conflict, the morality of separating families the hard way, and memes. They made Twitter into a plot point. So if any of that interests you, feel free to join me as we dive headlong into the wonderful madness of Metal Gear Rising Revan Giants and the voice. Is now intrigued. activated. I'm kind of worried, but I'm still intrigued. <laughs> so we boot up the game, but it doesn't support high resolutions. To fix this, we head to NeoGAF and download a virus. Now I can do any resolution. What a Amazing gameplay. Our story begins in the 2009 color scheme, with our hero Raiden protecting President Barfsack Crumbo. He's touring his birthplace of Kenya. I am uh, President United States Obama. Mr. President, you have dementia. Uh, drone strike the wedding. That can be arranged. What the fuck was that? Insurance fraud. Why, hello <laughs> there. Would you care to see my RGB lighting? Genji! I spent $3,000. Sir, this is a Wendy's. Oh. I'll just have to give you a demonstration then. Oh shit, he's got RGBs. Let's get the fuck out. I guess you could say he's half the man he once was. Holy fuck! Oh, he's basically Obama. like a metal have, uh, gear my doo -doo ass. Don't I'm worry, Obama. I'll protect you from this sidewalk. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to the first enemy in the game. Oh, oh my god. Now he's the first 100 enemies in the game. This is the standout feature of Metal Gear Rising. The ability to cut anything, and I do mean anything. Nature, okay, humans, telepathic sick. traffic poles, a family of four, and even staircases that are required to progress the game. I, I think that's an oversight. This was groundbreaking stuff for the How? PS3. Use it to hit weak points, Wait, confuse your enemies and prevent them from game. attacking, or accelerate deforestation. What are you doing, right? Most animals deserve to be extinct. Where the fuck is Ryder? Hang on, I think I'm hearing a boss music. My game crashed. I'm just gonna uh, run past everyone. Uh, Joe Biden, please help me pass the health care. Health care, you say? I'm a specialist. Ah, a new Players customer. Obama cares. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be talking about the Let's hope Obamacare covers euthanasia. <laughs> My name is Obama. I, uh... Shut up. Stop right there. Put down President Bumcracko Stop. Oh, okay. put him he's down, a, oh, right. he's a But okay, no, I, don't know how I have a giant robot. That that's that's still pretty good for the Why didn't I see that? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like crash, to introduce though. you to the tutorial boss. We're currently undergoing a learning experience, the one you can only you get with it? a giant laser. This is maybe the best game ever made. And although the gameplay is a little simple, the sheer scale makes me feel both empowered and quite intimidated. It's just a wonderful way to do it when you don't look like a cracked up rooster. Of course, there's no <laughs> need to worry, because Raiden is fucking jacked. Rules 
Mission accomplished. So Raiden runs all the way to a locomotive to confront Dimes for Crimes, led by none other than Buff Bezos. Uh, Mitch McConnell, uh, please transfer- Why do our politicians hog all the good missiles? Obama! Your prime has expired, Raiden, and so has his life. Nice. It's time for the next boss fight. I say that sarcastically because most people would classify it as a fucking suicide. I'm surprised this is on the train instead of in front of it. Face it, Jack, you can't even hold a sword. What the fuck is a sword? I could give you a demonstration, but first, what's your favorite hand? Well, my left. Great. I'm about to level up, Jack, and you look like just enough XP. Oh fuck, he's using bullets. Need a hand, Raiden. Also, who am I? So long, I'll be back for you, bitch. So at least two minutes pass, and Raiden is traversing the vacuum of space on his way to the... Colonel, I'm trying to fly around, but the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting me. Raiden, I'm playing Genshin Impact, but I've run out of credit card debt to purchase Ganyu. So if you can, can you lend me a, a hand? I, I will surely stop collecting them. You have a problem. So after We're the roughest plane ride right since Delta, we head to a third world shithole known as Russia to find the men who killed President Bumsack of Chungus and put an end to their illegal razor blade factory. Wait a second, where's the runway? Finally equipped with his new customizable gamer mouse body, Raiden oh begins his journey by encountering so three helpless victims, knocking them to the air and scooping out their spines like fucking ice cream. You see, this is actually our primary method of healing, since every spine is filled to the brim with delicious electrolytes. Like, this is the actual term used like in the game. Samurai. Just like American football, like the soldiers too. of the future are fueled by Gatorade. We, however, are fueled by Similar. violence. Oh, hang on one second, I've got a call. You should kill yourself now! So anyways, we head to the streets to get acquainted with the stealth, but unfortunately for the populace, it's completely optional. So instead, we decide to fight the foot fetish tank. And let me tell you, this enemy is real fun to kill, especially considering their fucking jump speed. Man, there really is no time between these cutscenes. Oh fuck. He looks so freaking No good. sex offender spotted. Oh my god. Look, he has a metallic chin. What the dog doing now? What the fuck is a dog? You are such a fucking Philistine, Raiden. Wait, how do you know my name? I am pre-programmed with knowledge of everyone. Oh yeah? Yes. Who's your owner then, little dog? The NSA, but my handler is a white woman. Damn, that's rough. I will never eat peanut butter ever again. For our next battle, we have Blade Wolf. Oh, Jesus. And let me say, if you don't know how to parry more than one attack, it's um time to learn. I um, don't know what attack this is. Fortunately, Blade Wait, Wolf will die? stop yiffing and call in Meals on Wheels, which allows us to partake of the Gatorade Eucharist. Now with the power of Jesus in our veins, we donate Blade Wolf to a kill shelter, and then he monologues. You're gonna stay on my dick until you die. You're Somehow, I've arrived at the Bitcoin factory. I've been moderating you at Twitch for months, and you never told me you had a boyfriend. Who are you? Oh my god, she spoke to me. Jesus fucking Christ. Raiden, watch out. That woman is live on- Stop it. Now sufficiently disturbed, Raiden moves on to the best level in the game using my favorite mechanics. Inconvenient fencing, handy enemies with cool controls, and you better believe there's some bad stealth. It even has cameras with zero degree vision. Just don't uh, just step into the, the lasers. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Oh my god, it's a woman. Please stop that. I've been waiting for you, Raiden. <laughs> Shout out to Big Chungus 29 for the donation. Please stay back. Sorry, Jack, but my stream demands you die. God, I wish oh, that was me. Okay, that can be arranged. Welcome to the world's first boss fight, where the battle is against your own controller. Provided, of course, that I don't throw that shit against a wall. In this confrontation, we fight the dark-skinned tomboy GF that I've always dreamed of, juggling and slaughtering several varieties of jihadist Bakugan. If I were forced to describe the experience, it would be Poggers or perhaps Papega, especially after Raiden achieves the miracle of flight when you fire the animators. But despite some of the occasional frustration, this battle is one of the best. Plus, I, uh, I like it when women hit me. Yeah, that's some cool theme music, bitch. Yes! That was cool! Your purpose in life is to be in my stream sucking on my dick daily. Uh, I see. My stream! It's, it's called you are truly weird, champ. I, is that a bad thing? You make me want to kill myself faster, but no oh my matter. God. My death, you will never 
Fighter Secret Base at 29th Avenue, Mexico City. What the fuck? These are the coordinates. God damn, I'm turned on. Right, we need to pick you up. What's your location? I'm... I, I'm in a Chinese factory. Now equipped with a solid lead for his Metal Gear Rising Revengeance 2013 video game, it's up to Sonic the Edgehog to make his way to the city of Mexico, complete with his oh, 50 pounds of smuggled Mexico. cocaine and a stolen Mercedes. Raiden, are, are you wearing a sombrero? It's my disguise. I'm trying to blend in. You are trying to give me a fucking brain aneurysm. Your destination is on the right. Now it's time for Raiden and his small pit bull to make their descent into Fallout 3. Hey, what's up gamers? Maxor here, and today Dana, we're gonna be questioning Dana. why Blade Wolf is packing an entire bakery. Better keep playing the game to bleach my eyes. <laughs> what's up gamers? It's Maxor here. And today, we are being beat to death by a group. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I it's a little weird to me that we're having more trouble with Harambe than a giant robot. Raiden opens him up like a Pokemon fan after ripping out his organs. Thank god that's the only enemy. Uh, uh, otherwise I'd have problems. This. So oh my god, it's a Smash tournament. I have to stop it. Okay, that's so fucking cool. Oh good, I'm new enemies. I was just fine. about to run out of those. Okay, but seriously, this enemy uh, doesn't want to hit me. It's all right. I don't have a Twitter account. You speak English? What the fuck is he saying? Can you repeat that? Listen, what? I don't know what a McDonald's does. After abandoning a child to his death, we're finally able to play the rest of the level. Raiden equips a cardboard box once used in a famous, well-known video game series called Smash Brothers. That's Wario, Snake. He also attacks by farting. Now you too can remain undiscovered in any public park. Oh, fuck. I can't tell what parts are jokes and what parts are real. Mm, let's just move on. Now finished with the ape exhibit, we're finally free to explore the secret base entirely without suspicion for two minutes. In that time, it's up to Raiden to escort an entire congregation to meet God. His stealth is, of course, optional, but so is my mercy. Now heading to the confessional, Raiden finds something that he was never supposed to see. Prince? Oh. Hi, it's Fitz with Slap Chop. Slap your trouble. Slap your trouble. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna leave this game for a while, play some good old Gary's mod. We get a call from <laughs> Boris Johnson, and he tells us that the baddies are keeping the brains of children in Futurama jars, piloting the various zoo exhibits we fought on our journey. And to figure out why, we sneak in using a wasted game mode. This lasts an entire minute. If you don't walk past everyone, using some proprietary software, we assume the role of the US government and spy on the bad guys' webcams before selling them crack. Their evil and dastardly plan is to restart the war economy by fueling conflict in Syria and Donbass, then making a gigantic profit by selling weaponized baby shark to the military. But instead of selling a Boston Dynamics dog like normal people, they figured the best way to create a robot Fucking army children. was to consult Mr. Epstein. So with our next target identified, we advance further until we find the giant robot. And if this hallway has anything to say about it, we're in for a fun boss fight. Raiden endures eight hours of being stunned before playing his reverse Uno card and trapping it in a corner for uh, two minutes, dicing up his armor and clapping him faster than that family on the highway in my Ford Mustang. Don't worry, he's a basic enemy in the next mission. Oh my god, I can't possibly cut through glass. Stop right there, Raiden, or I'll blow this child. Who is that? His head. I'll blow his head open. Oh, wait, are you for real? I don't have time for this conversation. Children are in danger. Do you know what a gun does? What's a gun? <laughs> So at least Shit. nine seconds happen and Ride Inside is driving to hell, all the while taking his eyes off the road with some CNN. Oh sweet, my programming is on. Super Idol de Charo, Domain. You know, America isn't so bad after all. After being in Mexico for so long, I'm starting to miss how peaceful it can be, especially the police. Raiden evades the evil forces of big sobriety as they attempt to suppress another innocent drunk driver, careening through the nightmare known as Denver before encountering the police budget. And showing off his toned legs. Wait a second, boys. He's white. I'm sorry, officer. I was just so busy playing League of Legends. All right, I've heard enough. Deadly force authorized. Oh, fuck. We are now forced to fight the hypothetical dystopian scenario where the government oh. and police are influenced by corporations, specifically the corporation that we've come to volunteer for blood donations. Although, Joe Ryden seems to be fighting their army of interns because most of them use a stick. Besides, of course, the military-grade Roombas, Ryden heads into an office through the organs of an officer and inside the biggest 
biggest elevator ever made. We take it down the hard way. Oh, also, they the forgot to limit my turn speed. There's even a subway like section with this cool new I'm, enemy I'm that I've never curious. seen before. I don't think well, anything much, can ruin this. Drink. What's I'm up, gamers? Luscious. God damn it. Let me tell you something important, Raiden. You're a normie and a beta male cuck. I'm only here to dispense justice. That's cringe, Jack, and your setup is weak. You can't even project yourself onto a building or a billboard. Your clout doesn't mean anything. It's worthless. Cope and seethe, Jack. Yeah, Why don't you go back to Facebook and post streamer. some minion memes? No, that's not the point. Do you see now all this murder and you still aren't based? You bastard. Shut the fuck up and listen for a moment. Oh my god, it's the cringe name, hey baby. Stop right there. What the fuck is wrong with his hair? What are you doing? He looks like Sonic impregnated a vending machine. No, stop. That he even has a fake chin. Do you see now, Jack? How can a cringe lord like you ever hope to kill my police officer? You're gonna be talking about the police <laughs> No fuck. So after chopping the authorities so fast that their bodies are steaming, Raiden gains a brain hemorrhage from watching my editing, which affects his movement slightly. Now emotionally compromised, we head through the mandatory stealth section. You know, eventually. How pleased you are to chop away, Jack the Ripper. You could say that I'm a big fan of What? Your work. My name is Monsu <laughs> of the Sussy Imposters. What the fuck? Emergency meeting. Please stop. <laughs> no. There's something genuinely wrong with you. It's just a little trolling, Jack. You're in the land of the free, after all. And your idea of freedom is enslaving children. Do you know what the Civil War was? It's cringe or be cringe, Jack. Soon you'll understand. Free will is a myth. Religion is a joke. We're all pawns controlled by something greater. Memes, the DNA of the soul. They are our culture, our clout. How about full of shit? Is that a meme? No, it fucking isn't, you amoeba. You'll never be based with memes like that. You're right. About me, I mean. What? I thought I could be just like you, Damn but that is a mistake. Yeah. Perhaps I am cringe, but that makes me free. That's sus. <laughs> Doctor, turn off my cringe inhibitors. But Raiden, you'll lose subscribers. Do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was fucking joking. Why did you do it? You think you could just log off, Jack? I'm starting to see what you're getting at. And if based means what I think it means, then caring about your shit posts is a so long way off. Cool. That's rich coming Imagine from the Tokyo likes of Tokyo you. Tokyo Family Tokyo Guy one. funny moment. In this boss fight against the Mon Sus battle bus, Raiden rages against the moral degeneracy of violence in movies and sex on TV, <laughs> using his good old fashioned values upon oh, which he used to so rely. Cool. During which we are subjected to an onslaught of attacks at average speed for oh, a cheetah, the demanding the absolute most the of the, the player to survive the human spaghetti. So if you thought Blade Wolf was a real fun boss to parry, then I've got news for you. We've got more edge in this fight than Bloodborne on the PlayStation 1. Monsoon can fucking teleport. He throws helicopters for fun, and his preferred method of dodging is self-bisection. He knows he's three edges away from being a Sonic OC, and you know what? I fucking dig it. It's so trippy, it's so cool! Hey Jack, ever been to the Washington Monument? <laughs> thank you, thank you, I spent four days editing that. Now excuse me as I take this call. The memes. You are decapitated. Don't worry, it's just a little trolling, right? Do not repost my memes back at me. Oh, I wouldn't worry about that, because your memes end here. That was intense. Grassley, you did not disappoint. This was wild. I feel like I just went through like a whole week's worth of gameplay in just one sitting. And my brain is just very- it's having trouble understanding what the fuck just happened, but at the same time I understand. But then also like my, my brain feels like I just snort lines of gamer girl crack. Yeah. I kind of want to give it a go.
This looks really fun. This looks really interesting. I love the end battle, like, just, just for the bragging rights alone. To be able to go through that at the very, very end and, like, go into fucking crackhead mode, I love it. That was insane. Thank you so much, Grassley, for that amazing recommendation. And also, the soundtrack for this, I don't know if it was edited in or if it was just, like, the actual soundtrack. Wicked. Especially for the end battle. I am so hyped.